Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, we disabled the chat because I am not planning to stay long and I know if the chat is on, I will be going to answer people and if I answer people, it's going to go forever and I'm just trying to make it short as much as I can. The spider. The spider. Uh, what I can say about spiders. You know, always the spiders, they have a long history of saving prophets. Was Muhammad the first person who was saved by the spider? No. I was wondering always what is the spider was exist for. I mean, what is the reason? Think about it. Not like long time ago in the summer, a spider he did bit me in my foot. And then I said, huh, man, looked like I was a prophet. Hmm. Because obviously there is a very strong connection between spiders and prophets of God. Muhammad, he have a story told by him to the, his companions. Now, you know, as, as you know, Muslims, they have tons of stories about Muhammad. As an example, once they asked Zakir Naik about why Prophet Muhammad he don't have miracles. Uh, Zakir Naik for sure he said, "Who said that? Who told you that?" Prophet Muhammad he have tons of miracles, and we have to agree. I mean, he have tons of them. Come to know that the moon has got fissure. They don't know what the reason is. But since the Quran says about Shaq al Kamar that the Prophet split the moon, he did. The Prophet split the moon. Yeah. He split the moon. I, mean, I don't know. Even the Quran says nobody split the moon. It says the moon is split. Nobody. Where it says the Quran, the moon. Uh, Allah, doesn't say even Allah split the moon. And this is an Arab poetry of a man. His name is Imr al Qais. In Shaq al Kamar. Where it says that Muhammad he split the moon even in the Quran, and where it says even Allah he split the moon even in the Quran, and if the moon is split, should be two pieces, and then he said to you, there is a crack in the moon. My friend, we have the biggest crack in the in the earth too. It's called the Grand Canyon, but this is a valley. It's not a crack, you know. I mean, it's a valley, valley. When you say split, it means the moon became two pieces. So Muhammad he saw eclipse, and there is tons of hadith about Muhammad he go crazy when he see an eclipse. And the Muslims, they start fabricating stories. When Muhammad, he said, the hour is night, which means in the corner, almost there. And here, the sign, here we go, the sign of judgment, they started. The moon split asunder. Hmm. But there's no, nothing happened 1400 years ago. So this is not only a stupid thing, it's a false prophecy, proving Muhammad to be a false prophet. Now, if we go, and see what uh, another miracle. Maybe this one did not work. I, I, I'm not convinced. Maybe he had a different miracle. There are various, there are, there are, there's a book written which talks about the miracles of mm -hmm. the Prophet. And there are like a couple of hundred miracles mentioned like, in that. Like what? Give us the most important one in, in, in the way you think. That the Prophet spoke to animals. Oh boy. Yeah, I remember the Prophet, he spoke to the donkey and he said to him, Do you like females? I mean, have you ever heard of a prophet speaking to a donkey, asking him the first question he asked him, do you like females? And have you ever heard of a donkey, he say no? Well, the, the donkey of the prophet Muhammad, he don't like me, females. You got a point there. What else? So he spoke to animals. Uh -huh. And how come the Quran don't mention those stories? How come the Quran speak about the ant she heard Suleiman, sorry, the, the Suleiman, he heard the ant. However, the Quran never mentioned that Muhammad, he spoke to animals. Shouldn't that, I mean, why Allah, he mentioned the story about Suleiman? But there is nowhere in the Quran it says Muhammad spoke to animals. And not only that, actually the Quran confirmed that Muhammad have zero miracles. And Muhammad explained why. Muhammad, 
he explained why. In chapter 17, verse number 59, it says, Allah speaking supposedly, we refrain from sending signs. Only, why? Because the men of former generations treated them as false, which is stupid to say because a Christian, they believed in all the miracles of the prophets before. And the Jewish believe too. I mean, uh, even most of the Jews actually, they believe in Jesus already. So what, I mean, what is that? And if you refrain to send the sign, so the moon split was what? According to Zechariah, because this will be a contradiction. Either you refrain or you are going to send, or you send. And if we take into account that this verse was revealed after the other one, which means if the moon is split already, and then Allah, he says, we refrain from sending sign, that's mean Allah is a, is a fool. He, you know, he forgot that he made the miracle already. Number three, Zakir Naik will tell you that the Quran itself is a miracle. But if the Quran itself is a miracle, so how he say we refrain to send a miracle? Because by saying this sentence, you just made a miracle. Isn't it the Quran a miracle? So imagine you are making falafel and you say to people, we refrain from making falafel, but you are making falafel right now. <laughs> I mean, it's stupid. It's amazing. However, the miracles of Muhammad can go really serious. I mean, there's many, there's many miracles happen to me, you know, and there's miracles happen when you want to go to the bathroom. The bathroom. I mean, <clears throat> Allah is with you, Muhammad, wherever you go. The bathroom, still he is there to serve you. The the various, the tree came and shaded the Prophet when you're going for the call of nature. The, the tree, they came and they shaded the Prophet when he was doing the call of nature. What happened? The trees came and covered the Prophet. When you want to do poo, poo Muhammad is a, okay. Think about it. You are in the field, and uh, there is no bathroom, and you don't want people to see you. So the trees they gather from everywhere, and they rounded the prophet. And the prophet now he is okay. Finally, I can do it. <laughs> thank you, Allah. Thank you for the trees. And when when Muhammad he finished, by the way, the trees went back. Mm. Anyway. To make the story short, Prophet of Allah Muhammad, he have a very special story. That when the people of Quraysh, they wanted to kill Muhammad, he asked Ali to sleep in his bed. I mean, what a coward behavior. You ask a kid to sleep in your bed so you can run away. Mm -hmm. Hero. And then when he went, he went all the way to uh, a cave. And then when he went inside the cave, Allah, he sent the spider, brother, and uh, the spider, he made a whip in the, in the door of the cave. And then when they came, they said, okay, well, if he is there, I mean, there is no way he is in. And yet, you know, I mean, there is a spider. There is no way. And this is here, can be located uh, in uh, Musnad uh, Bani Hashim, blah, 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 page, uh, hadith number 3251. You see the story here contradicting the Quran, because the Quran just said, we never send, uh, you know, we refrain from sending miracles. So why why the Quran don't mention the miracle? I mean, what's wrong? Why Muhammad he had miracles in the Muslim books, but we cannot find those miracles in the Quran? Zakir Naik, he just said, Muhammad, he want to do poo, poo The trees came from everywhere and they around him. Okay, this is an amazing miracle. We can call it the poo, poo miracle, you know? But we cannot find it in the Quran. Okay, why? Is Allah ashamed of it or or this is something fabricated by Muhammad or fabricated by Muslims? But now our story is this uh, spider. I like spiders. So when Muhammad, he mentioned that when he went 
and he hide in the cave and there was a spider who made a whip on his door is that a story Muhammad copying from someone else like yesterday you know we spoke about the journey to the moon we will talk about it we will find all, all those things remember everything Muhammad he say he is copying it from somewhere and mostly most of them they are from the Jewish tradition the legions of the Jews specifically legions fiction stories so like in the Bible there is a there is a, 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 a if you go to first Samuel you will see that Shaul the King Shaul he chased David to kill him and then David he hide looked like he had in a cave but this is what the Bible says but then in the traditions in the legions it says that there was a spider who God he sent him and he made the whip in the front of the cave if we go to the book it's called the legion of the Jews chapter 4 point 4 you will see how David he have a story with the uh, with the spider In other occasion, David expressed his doubt for of God, uh, God's wisdom, in having <coughs> formed such a uh, apparently useless creature uh, like as a spiders. So uh, David, you know, he like I always wonder, what is the benefit of a spider? They do nothing, but they spin a whip. That has no value. He was uh, to have a striking <coughs> proof. Sorry again, my voice is still not good. Uh, that even a spider whip may serve an important purpose. On one occasion, he had taken refuge in the cave, and Saul and his attendant, the army, he pursued him. We're about to enter and seek him there, but God sent the spider to wave its whip across the opening. And Shaul told his men, hmm, if the, if he is there, how come the you know, how come the spider web covering the door? Now, if you are a Muslim and you are listening, if Muhammad is a true prophet, why he is copying a story from the fiction books of the Jews? Claiming that those things happened to him. I will leave the link for this uh, reference in the info as long as the chat is closed. So you guys can read it and check it out. So what we what we find is that always Muhammad is as a fraud. He cannot you know come with his own story even like I mean okay fabricate a story about you being saved by something I mean why you are copying someone letter by letter word by word the story of the end of the Jews we can find it in the same book the legion of the Jews why So we cannot find those stories in the Quran, even though by the, the way the Quran have a chapter is called the spider. But in the Quran says the reason they mention the spider that it is the most weak house. And by the way, right now, I mean scientists did discover that spider web can be the most powerful uh, fabric uh, for bulletproof, because you are mistaken if you think that the spider web is weak. Because imagine little tiny thin uh, line can carry the body of a spider. This is how powerful it is. For us, because our weight is heavy, we say it is weak. But for, for the size of this line, for how thin it is, yet it can capture big insects, way bigger than the spider himself. 
and the spider he can hold them there even he can wrap them and he save them as a refrigerator so when the Quran says that the most weak house is the house of the spider the Quran he you know again made a mistake because this is not a true let us see the Quran website is not opening maybe I don't know let us try this one yeah and anyway and Zachary Naik in the video too he said as an example the Quran nobody can make Quran like this the Arab they are the most powerful uh, people in Arabic yeah mm, true for sure the Arab are the most powerful people in Arabic <laughs> who is going to be the Persian <laughs> in fact it was the Persian yeah because the one who corrected the Arabic language it was a Persian person uh, what else I can I there are various miracles but but the Muslims uh -huh. don't boast of these miracles uh -huh. <coughs> so why you made a book it's called scientific miracle of the Quran I mean look how he lied he himself he make a he made a book it's called scientific miracle of the Quran if you don't boast him why you are boasting lies anyway he says to you <clears throat> after he cough let us skip the coughing part and drink water I hope it's halal the reason uh -huh. we Muslims do not boast of these miracles because at the time uh -huh. When the Quran was revealed, it was not the age of miracles. Ah. Previously, was the age of miracles at the time. Of if 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 that's it. When the Quran came, there is no. This is the age of miracle is over. It's expired. The age of miracle expired. But a second ago, you told us that Allah He split the moon. <laughs> And then he will say to you that the Quran, brother, is the miracle. Nobody can make Quran, the, the language of the Quran. But the Arab in the time of Muhammad, they laugh at the Quran and they said, if we want, we can write same and better. And not only that, this is nothing but the fairy tales of the ancient. And this is exactly what we showed you. This is fairy tales of the Jews, of the Christians, of uh, the Persian, uh, of the Sabians, of, uh, you know, there's many fairy tales carried by many. The seven sleepers, the ant, uh, the spider, uh, uh, the flying carpet, the flying horse, uh, 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 tons. And the Arab, they got Muhammad busted. They said to him, we heard those stories before. We have heard these before. If we wished, we could say a word like this. When the Muslim, they say the Quran, challenge them to make it. And they say, we cannot. That's a lie. The Quran says it clearly. If we want, we but this is stupid. It's like challenging me to write a stupid book. Can you make a can like it's like saying to me, can you be stupid more than me? This is what the Arab saying to Muhammad. This is nothing but fairy tales and stupidity. So, my friend, be the judge of the proofs and the reference we gave you. Do Muhammad really present anything from God? Why a person he steals stories coming from legions is not even true. Talking ant. Muhammad he is speaking to the spider. Muhammad he spoke to the camel, but we cannot find it in the Quran. And the Quran he says we refrain. And Zakir Naik he says the reason Muhammad you know there is no uh, there, there is it, it was not the age of miracles but so, but you just said in the beginning of the video there's hundreds of miracles Muhammad he did. When you say hundreds, that's mean he have miracles more than Jesus. Because the Quran count you know few of them for Jesus. So if Muhammad have hundreds, how come the Quran count the few of Jesus but he did not count not even one for Muhammad, even the split of the moon, it doesn't say that even Allah split or Muhammad split, it says the moon is split. That's it, the moon is split asunder. Here you see that Quran, Islam, Muslims, Muhammadan, Muhammad, they fail in the trap of the legion. The legion of the Jews is what Islam is about. The legion Islam is nothing but fiction stories. It's a collection of stories of other books. 
have nothing to do with Muhammadan, have nothing to do with Muhammad. Muhammad is a thief, he take it. If Muhammad was exist, I'm not sure, you know. For me, I don't debate this issue if he was exist or not. But somehow, it make me believe that Muhammad is a fiction himself. Because the existence of Muhammad is a sponsor by legions, not by reality. If this is a person who was for real, then how the story became exactly the, the story in the legion of the Jews? If you are just watching the video and maybe you wonder how to get the, the, this information, just search for Legion of the Jews, chapter 4-4. Four, four. Very easy. And you will find it right away. All right? So we disabled the chat to keep it short. And we were able to make it. So thank you very much for being here. Share the video and uh, download it before we take it down. Maybe by afternoon today or by night. I will take all my videos down so we have a fresh page and we start all over again. And again, I, th I think the best way to have my video short is to keep the chat sh you know, uh, shut down. If we want to stay longer, then we will make the chat active. Uh, because if the chat is there, I'm sure I'm going to be answer pe people and people will ask me or Muslim will say comment and then I have to show reference, blah, 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 blah. It's endless. So this is better. If we can stay longer, we will make the chat, the chat open. If we want to stay shorter, we will make the chat close. Thank you very much for uh, being here. May the Lord bless you all. And this is your brother Christian Prince humbly while sharing with you some of the legions of the fiction prophet who imagined himself having sex. In fact, he did not. Who the Muslim says he was bewitched. Who took a flight to the seventh heaven over a flying donkey, yet he did not know how it happened who Allah installed a dish of faith and dish of wisdom in his chest. Muhammad, the one people fear to speak about him, and I don't. Thank you. God bless you, and see you soon.